Okay, sorry about all the noise from the compressor. First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain, kinds 4, 5, and 7. All right, and yes, 8. And now the reason why um, there's a good chance that the 8 may not make it out to, uh, may not never make it onto our website is because due to the fact that we have a company that is interested in that technology and right now there is a project going on I'm not saying anything about what's going on in the project what's happening but all I'm saying is that the Superior 8 may not um, ever make it to our website so um, with that being said like I said we do have a Supreme 7 which is outstanding it produces images outside but to keep in mind the Supreme 8 was developed uh, so we can actually have the ability to be able to produce this on an inflatable screen giving it the ability to screen the paint the ability to be able to stretch and uh, form with the uh, frame of the inflatable uh, screen now this right here is actually using uh, Superior 8 and we got the screen blowed up in my uh, dining room and it is quite huge I was able to have my friend come over and we were able to wedge it up into the ceiling just to show you exactly how flexible the screen is in the center uh, using the uh, Superior 8. Now Superior 8, just like a Superior 7, has the ability to pull up images uh, from 5 o'clock all the way up until 7 o'clock and so forth. The only difference with the Superior 8 is a much more flexible uh, screen paint allows to be able to interact with an inflatable screen and this is why it's marketed as an outdoor product only. But because of interest in this technology there is a very very good chance that it may not ever make it to our website and that a company will be picking up that technology because it does something it gives the uh, uh, customer the ability to be able to have a high-tech uh, black inflatable screen but not only that it also too has the ability to be able to produce brighter wider images and also too it is flexible so it's designed to basically move with the um, inflate, um, um, when you inflate, inflate the screen it's designed to move with it designed to stretch with it um, become one with the frame as you would say so I'm just showing off a demonstration fully the environment plenty of light in the environment as you can see it's always nice and bright in here every time we work and I'm going to show you over here this is my screen and my living room this right here is using a ambient light rejection technology gain times four. This is a roll-on. This is a superior. Now I can sit here, watch TV. This is Brooklyn, New York. I don't know if I'm saying it right. I can sit here, I got my door open. I've got my blinds open. I've got condensed lighting coming down on top of the screen. This is everyday TV. And as you look at my environment, it's nice and bright. My projector sits back 14 feet and eight inches from the screen. And I'm able to produce an image out, uh, image in my environment in and in a fully lit environment with all the lights on and this is from a superior ambient light rejection roll on screen paint and this shows you how good our technology keep in mind you'll see demonstrations out there that cannot perform on this level not with this much ambient light and I want to show you how much light I have in contact that's coming from the ceiling that's connecting with my screen at all times same amount of light that's in the fireplace hits my screen plus the LED lights I have installed underneath my screen so it just shows you that you know if you're watching TV if you're watching sports you're doing gaming you do not have to be subjected to a dark environment just because you own a projector and my projector sits back 14 feet and 8 inches from the screen and as you can see it looks absolutely incredible keep in mind a superior 4 a superior ambient light rejection uh, cinema can produce an image outside but the projectors have to be in the range of 3500 lumens and up same thing with a superior 5 which is using ambient light rejection technology game times 5 just want to show you some regular tv but this right here this is beautiful now mind you you don't see black inflatable screens and we have the only technology that has the ability to pull images up outside on 1100 lumen projectors at somewhere between 12 in the afternoon sorry about somewhere around um at 7 to 8 to 9 in the morning and then at, in the, at nighttime or in the evening we can pull an image up at around 5, 6, 7 and 8. A white screen at 7 o'clock doesn't even pull up an image.
Now once I finish the complete modification of the screen in the middle, we'll have a complete black screen in the center without any white lines whatsoever. It'll look crisp and look perfect to show you my projector. My projector is sitting right there. You see how close the, LED, the lights are sitting from the screen. We don't lose any picture quality, nothing at all. This is something that cannot be achieved with a white screen, even inside. Keep in mind, my ambient light inside will fade a white screen fast. It assures our customers that I can watch TV in a fully lit environment and will not have to worry about the screen ever washing out or fading. And why sit in the dark when you can be in the light? All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration and the update. There's a lot of updates that's going to be happening to this black technology designed for inflatable screens. A lot of technology. And right now, not a lot of technology, but a lot of updates because right now, like I said, I'm not going to say too much because I'll be under NDA pretty soon. So with that being said, um, we have a special project. I will not name the person who's involved or any companies that are involved uh, due to the fact that, like I said, we can't trust because individu uh, certain individuals like to talk a lot and like to basically do things they should not be doing. I'm showing a certain level that we're getting out of here. Look how deep and beautiful the blues are. Okay, right back from my kitchen. Oh, that screen is still picking up. It's funny, my friend came over today and she saw the inflatable screen and she was blown away by it. She was blown away by the inflatable screen. She was like, when are you going to be setting this up outside? I said, very, very soon. Very soon. We're going to be setting this up outside around 5 o'clock. We're going to have a barbecue. And we're going to have a ball with this screen. Now this is a white piece of paper. Hold on for a minute. I want to make sure I get that flat against the screen. So I'm going to be ordering me another white projection screen surface uh, designed for outdoor. I'm going to paint half of it with our technology and the other half we're going to leave it just the same just to show you exactly what you're getting from a white screen when you use it outside over black technology. Now let's do a Batman scene. It's a Batman scene where they do the tumbler. I like doing this because the, 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 um, it's a very dark, 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 um, concentrated. Let me take the lights out. Let me just show you what you're getting with a white screen compared to a black screen. Now my projector is 3,700 lumens. This is how much contrast you're losing when you use a white screen outside. Even if it's nighttime, it doesn't make a difference. If your projector is 10,000 lumens, 20,000 lumens, 50,000 lumens, you will not be able to achieve contrast levels. White screens do not have that ability. So if you're showing a movie outside and that projection screen is white, this is what you're actually getting compared to our black technology. This looks so pretty, does it?
But the beautiful thing about our technology, it has ambient light rejection technology, which means even with the lights on, it can pull an image. Which means our screens have the ability to pull images up in early hours or basically in the evening hours where a white screen can't perform. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint showing off our inflatable Superior 8. This is going to be a new form of screen paint. Like I said, it may not make it to our website due to the fact that we do have companies very interested in investing in this technology. I'd like to thank you all for your time. I have to go and go.